All right, so hardware is something we all love. It's a very messy landscape that uh, we wouldn't be here if we didn't love the way it's messy. But of course, if something's messy, then the first thing that comes to an engineer's head is to bring new order to it, right? So uh, you have to imagine the Star Wars themes music, but what we ended up doing to kind of bring more order to the universe is uh, a hardware portal. We have an open hardware portal uh, that's basically a website, and of course, like on this website, you'll find dozens of open source hardware designs. Uh, they're all made in KiCad, and uh, you can just take them and use them. They're permissive licensed. Uh, we use them, of course, in our commercial work. They're like both FPGA boards, uh, NVIDIA, Snapdragon, whatever. Uh, there's quite a lot of them. Uh, and uh, most importantly, though, it's not just a website to display boards. It actually is an open source database with KiCad footprints for components, Blender models. We have links to data sheets and you name it, right? So it's a database and the, the website is just a viewer, you would say. Here are the links. Mm, and uh, we have a bunch of cool features. We have interactive uh, previews of schematics uh, with Kai Canvas built in. Uh, we have detailed stack of visualizations and so on and so on. So I encourage you to take a look. Uh, also, it's an open flow, so we can visualize not just end micro boards, but we can just take other boards, just an ambique uh, board, and you can run it through the flow and make a very nice visualization. But uh, we didn't stop there. We thought that, okay, we have a database, what do we do next? And we decided to have a visualization framework. It's called, we call it Visual System Designer. I know we're not very creative with names, but uh, it's an open hardware portal, Visual System Designer. Um, but it's essentially a block level diagram editor for building boards or SOCs and stuff like that. Uh, you can actually represent existing boards, but you can also develop new ones. And uh, yeah, um, it has a bunch of features. You can actually generate Reno simulation files from it. So I talked about Reno before. Uh, you can create like an arbitrary board. As long as the components are, are supported, we'll be able to simulate it. Uh, you can communicate requirements. I mean, some people have told me that even the idea to kind of be able to show people a nice block diagram is cool. So you can do that. Uh, and you can look up components uh, from this visual designer in the open hardware portal because it's the same database, right? Uh, so yeah, that's it. I thought the show hotel would be outside, but it's not, so it's gonna be here. <laughs>